Recursion. What is it? Why do I need it? And how do I use it? To start with, what is recursion? A good explanation is the Tower of Hanoi model. For those of you who don't know, this is a Tower of Hanoi. Notice how each layer is a bit smaller than the last. This is because in recursion, each layer builds on information from the one above. So let's jump straight into an example. Say you want to find the factorial of an integer. For this example, let's use 4. How would we do this? First, let's start by looking at the definition of factorial. The factorial of any positive integer is the product of itself and all positive integers before. So therefore, the factorial of n equals n times the factorial of n minus 1, with the factorial of 1 being 1. So let's go back to the Tower of Hanoi model. When trying to find the factorial of 4, the bottom layer would be 4 times factorial 3. Unfortunately, the layer doesn't yet know the actual value of factorial 3, so it creates a layer above itself to search for the answer. This pattern continues with factorial 3 being 3 times factorial 2, and factorial 2 being 2 times factorial 1, until finally factorial 1 is hit. Because factorial 1 is simply 1, this information can now propagate downwards. When factorial 2 gets its information, it now knows that it's 2 times 1, which equals 2, and when factorial 3 gets its information, it now knows that it's 3 times 2, which equals 6. Then finally, when factorial 4 gets its information, it now knows that it's 4 times 6, which equals 24. Okay, you say. You've just told me about how recursive functions work, but how exactly do I use them? It's quite simple, really. Just make a function that calls itself. For example, look at the Python function that should currently be on screen. Now you hopefully know how and why recursive functions work, so here are some advantages and disadvantages of them so you can figure out how to most effectively use them. Advantages Readability Many people think that recursive functions read better, and quite frankly, I agree. A fairly large portion of the time, a recursive approach will be a lot more elegant than the equivalent iterative approach if one even exists. And necessity. As alluded to a moment ago, some functions can't be expressed iteratively, at least without implementing your own stack, a stack being the memory holding the recursive program's place and value in all of your function layers. An example of this would be something like the Ackerman function. Disadvantages. Memory usage. Recursive functions can often take up many times more memory than their iterative counterparts. Although this can be counted in most modern compilers and interpreters with tail recursion, which is where the recursive function call is at the end of the script. And speed and CPU usage. On the same vein as the memory usage issue, because of the requirement for a stack, CPU usage and speed can be considerably slower with a recursive approach. Although, once again, tail recursion can help to alleviate this. Thank you all for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want mediocre gaming videos on a quasi-daily basis.